Hey guys, it's Techran here. In today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to combine your chats into one place in OBS Studio, so that way you can have a multi-chat that shows YouTube, Twitch, and Kick without having to have multiple docs in one place. That is right. If you guys did not know, I did a video a little while back how to combine your Kick Chat, YouTube Chat, and OBS, but they were all separate docs, and there wasn't really a way to combine them in all one doc. However, I got a comment here today that said, you can use the overlay source as a doc source. And after reading that comment, I processed the information for a little bit because I didn't quite get it, but I realized you could take a URL link, like the actual Botrix link, and put it into OBS, which would capture all the information from every single chat, so that you don't have to have multiple docs. I'm gonna show you guys how that's set up here today, because honestly, it works, but there is one problem. So you can see this is my setup right now. I have my Twitch chat here, and I have my Kick chat over here, so that way I can monitor both chat and read from both of them. However, they are technically merged together in one place. Yes, they are in OBS, but they are all in one spot. And that was kind of the only problem with my video where yes, I was telling the truth, but at the same time too, it wasn't an effective method. Originally, I was actually developing an app. It's still in the works, but we're actually figured out another way to actually do it with the actual docs. So I want to show you guys this here today. First of all, I'm going to link down below to Botrix. Once you're on Botrix Live, what I want you to do is log into your Twitch. Now, of course, you can log into every single platform with this actual app that merge everything together, meaning that you have a chat box with every single platform in it. For that way, you can show it on screen and it also can be done for actually alerts as well. You can actually customize them, by going into individual settings on them and actually customize them there so that way you can have all your alerts instead of multiple alert boxes strung up on screen which is just looks weird so i will have that video linked down below and i do recommend you watch that because that video goes over some specific steps on how to actually sign into like kick and stuff so definitely watch that video and come back here but once you're back though what i want to actually do to get that one merge chat is literally go into your widgets and go into the chat box so what you're going to do here is like really customize this because the actually link for this is actually separated so meaning that anytime you make a new chat box link it won't impact the actual existing chat boxes that you already have on screen on an obs so it doesn't mess anything up you know what i'm saying because that's not the fun thing to fix and then what you want to do is disable actually hide old messages so that when you're reading a message it doesn't disappear after a certain period of time and also make it sure that throw platform icon so that way you can see your kick twitch and youtube so what we're gonna do now is copy this link and actually now go into our obs and once we're on obs what you want to do is let go to docs go into custom browser docs then what you want to do is make a new one. So I'm going to type up the word all and it doesn't really mean anything. It could just be anything in doc name. I take that URL we just got and paste that in actually our docs. Now you'll get this empty canvas and I want to go over the first problem with this. This actually does work. However, it is kind of one of those things where like if you played Pokemon in the back in the day, you name your character, you guys spam A in the beginning. That's what you're going to have to do here. So if you actually want to take this custom browser doc, make sure to unlink your docs so that way they're not locked together and actually move it around. So you can see I've already merged it with my YouTube and actually Twitch. And what I want to do is take my now kick chat instead of having it all over the way to the side, I can only just merge it on in so I have a cleaner look. So that way I have my all Twitch oh not twitch twitch kick and youtube and that way you can actually have this so this looks pretty clean now now here comes the problem this thing does work but every stream you're going to start off with you need to start spamming just t so spam t in the beginning and once you spam t you can see twitch popped up here but of course you're gonna have to do this every stream which is kind of the only problem but is not hard to fix but once you've done this though you now have a message come up and like kick for example here if I was to type up test and kick, it'll be the most recent message and actually the app, which now if we go to all, you can now see kick is available and then Twitch works too. So that way it actually works. So technically this is a way to merge all the chats in one place and OBS. However, it's just kind of annoying that every time you have to load up OBS, you will actually have to spam A in the beginning. But you can now see on screen here that the actual widget I actually have on screen will actually vanish after a certain period of time. Cause I think I have mine like set to 50 and stuff like that. So they're gonna disappear on screen, but when they actually show up in actually the obs widget they won't disappear over time because these are permanent which is very nice so that's how you make a multi-chat for obs studio if you guys did find this video helpful here today make sure to smash the like button and get subscribed to me on future tech content we just hit 3,000 subscribers but we're trying to aim for 4,000 by the end of the year now so be very much appreciated and i'll see you guys for another one tech grant out